there's a couple things I wanted to share before South by Southwest in 2014 so that you kind of get a feel and a sense for what some uh, entrepreneurs and founders do. Majority, super majority of founders and entrepreneurs, they kind of don't reveal what's going on. They definitely don't uh, document, update their work on social media. I am way outside of the norm where I'll document after I do often, but a an Othman Laraki, a, a Matt Smith, who's my co-founder, he'll, he'll never do that. In fact, uh, seeing as how I brought up uh, my co-founder, this is what uh, he does, did. He laughs at me because I did this. This is my robe that I stole from his room in 2011 for Web2 Summit. The reason I remember that is he decides to stay at the Four Seasons, which is blocks, maybe three blocks from the Palace Hotel. And I'm staying at Ground Zero all the time. So Web2 Summit was done and is done and was done by Tim O'Reilly and it was at the Palace Hotel. And I like staying at Ground Zero, whereas a lot of entrepreneurs, they kind of want to be private. Um, I want to be private too, but I also want to be able to document my work and keep it as a journal uh, moving forwards and backwards to be able to read. I don't tweet or update for you. I tweet an update and Facebook update for me. So Matt wants to stay far away. Not far away, but close enough to where he can walk, kind of jump in for some sessions, maybe do a couple of meetings. He definitely wants the buffer, where he doesn't want to meet general public people, he doesn't want to be asked all the time why he's so awesome. In fact, he'll just deny it because most people that do have a real arbitrage and a real business that they have a, a formula or a secret sauce or I think it's the algorithm and the underwriting. Uh, those are the two. Most founders don't want to tell you if they are doing well, they never say they're killing it. If they're doing well, they're like, I hope business stays in business for me because, you know, it's one day at a time, one day at a time. It's not one day at a time. It's Mr. Peabody where he needs to know he does well and his movie's going to do well because he's not one day at a time. He's chunks of time and his business looks into the future as a certain amount of time. Also, the way that most founders go about it is extremely preparatorial. Okay, I know that's not a word. Four Seasons provides great product, right? They don't have a Veda. They only have L'Occitane. And granted, they have L'Occitane in like the little bottle, okay? The little bottle. But they don't have a Veda hair product. And who brings the full-on product with them. Similarly, which is why I wanted to even bring this up, because I don't want to get double charged, especially because this is actually a robe that is a heavier robe that is seven seasons ago robe, okay? They go through iterations. They buy them in huge batches, and if you leave the hotel with it, it's a hundred bucks. Well, it's not a hundred bucks for me because I'm not at the Four Seasons. I was at the Palace Hotel, but it was on Matt's credit card, and yeah, we both sort of paid for it, but I sort of didn't because it was way, way, way pre-tax, not post-tax money, way pre-tax money, and not even my expense account. So I hope that clarifies some of the things that uh, maybe we all wonder, and um, it was nice to meet you. I'm on Twitter, at Larry Chang. And on Google Plus, I uh, broadcast... Oh, I messed it up. I broadcast my locations on a new social network that's relaunching itself, I called Google Plus.